Hello everyone, I'm Collins from Study Africa. Welcome back to General Topology class. In our last class, we treated the definition of a topology and topological space, an example. In today's class, we'll see the different types of topology. So as a continuation of our last class, we are going to treat two examples of a topology first before we take the types of topology, which is what we have for today. So starting with the examples of a topology as a continuation to our last class, we say let x be equal to the set A, B, C. Now to show that tau is a topology on x, so we have two questions for tau being equal to this set and tau being equal to this other set for number two. So we start by solving question one solution tau equals this so we have to show that tau satisfies the three condition of a topology we learned this from our last class so we have to prove that tau satisfies three basic conditions so condition one states that the entire set x and the empty set are elements of tau. We can see that this is true from the given elements of tau in the question. So we say condition 1 holds. Condition 2 states that the union of any member of tau is also a member of tau. So let's take any two elements from the set tau and find their union. So the union of the singleton set A and the set AB will give us the set AB. And the set AB is also a member of tau, so condition 2 holds. Condition 3 states that the finite intersection of any member of tau is also a member of tau. So let's take two elements of tau and find the intersection. Find the intersection of the singleton set A and the singleton set B will have an empty set, which is also a member of tau. So condition 3 holds. Therefore, tau is a topology on X. At this point, I would like you guys to pause the video and try finding the union and intersection of other elements in tau to verify if all the conditions are satisfied. So question 2, tau being equal to this, we have to show that tau satisfies the following conditions of a topology. So we take the same steps we took in the first example, showing that condition 1, 2, 3 holds. So condition 1 states that the entire set X and the empty set are elements of tau. We can see that this is true from the given elements of tau in the question, so condition 1 holds. Condition 2 states that the union of any member of tau is also a member of tau. Let's take any two elements from the set tau and find their union. So the union of the set AB and the set AC will give us the set ABC. And the set ABC is not a member of tau. So condition 2 fails, so definitely this is not a topology. But let's just see condition 3 to know that if it holds or fails. Condition 3 states that the finite intersection of any member of tau is also a member of tau. So let's take two elements of tau and find their intersection. Finding the intersection of the set AB and the set AC, we have the set A which is not a member of tau, so condition 3 fails. Therefore, tau is not a topology on X. So having these examples done, we dive right into what we have for today, types of topology. First, we have to recall from our previous video the definition of a topological space, which states that a topological space is simply the pair of the entire set X and tau. 
having this definition in mind, we we'll list the types of topology. Number one is a discrete topology. If n if x is any non-empty set, then tau is said to be a discrete topology if it is of the form tau equals the power set of x. It simply means that tau contains a collection of all possible subsets of x. Number two is the indiscrete topology. If x is any non-empty set and tau is a collection of subsets of x, then tau is said to be an indiscrete topology if it is of the form tau containing only the empty sets and the entire set x. Number three is the cofinite topology. If x is any non-empty set, then tau is also said to be a cofinite topology if it is of the form tau equals the set u subset of x such that u is equal to the empty set or u complement is finite. Number four is a nested topology. This type of topology satisfies the nested property and it is also of the form empty sets in a subset of u1 and u1 subset of u2 continuously to ux where u is a subset of x. We well, have other types of topology but you may not be needing them for now. Something like the k topology and the rest but let's stick with these four types of topology for now because that's what you'll be needed. Please subscribe and click on the bell icon to get as if I didn't upload videos like this in Study Africa. Remember your subscription to my YouTube channel is an encouragement for me to produce more videos like this. So please comment on this video, like and share. Remember, subscribe.